Hey, what's going on all you ghouls and ghosts out there? My name is Mike Macabra, and welcome to the graveyard. As always, if you like what you see, like, subscribe, comment, share the video, hit that notification bell so you don't miss any more of my reaction videos, Friday Night Frights, Mouthing Off with Mike Macabra, or whatever else I'm doing on this channel. But on tonight's episode, we have another reviews and re actions and coming back to the channel is revolting cox now full disclosure i did react to one of their other songs um steers queers and beers or something along that lines uh official music video last time and i was not a huge fan uh particularly of like the dj fuka fuka kind of stuff and the the visuals were kind of made me made me feel kind of queasy so I'm, I, you know, like I said during that reaction, I'm always willing to give bands all the chances they deserve. So I'm not going to hold that against this particular track. I'm going in with an open mind, fresh mind, fresh eyes. Uh, but we're going to be reacting to their song "Do You Think I'm Sexy," 1993 official music video. And link to that original video will be down in the description box for your viewing pleasure at your leisure. And this request comes to us by Stephen Fritchie. Thank you again for that lovely, lovely request. <clears throat> Excuse me. As always, going into this blind with my off-the-cuff comments, if I recognize the song, I'll definitely let everybody know. I'm going to be as transparent as possible. But no more ghouling around. Let's check it out. All right, ghouls and ghosts, revolting cocks. Do you think I'm sexy? 1993 official music vidya. That sounds very familiar. His heart 
heart's beating like a drum Cause at last he's got this girl home oh, Relax baby, now we're all alone Oh poor guy That was uh, <laughs> interesting, to say the least. I got a little bit to say here. But uh, see in the review section. All right. Ghouls and ghosts. That was Revolting Cox with Do You Think I'm Sexy? 1993 official music video. Again, link to that original video we done in the description box. For viewing pleasure at your leisure. And again, this request comes to us by Stephen Fritchie. Thank you again for that lovely, lovely request. This was uh, like a complete uh, 180 for me. From the last reaction I did from this band. I definitely liked this uh, musically a lot more. Uh, visually a lot more. And the lyrics, from what I understood a little bit about running out of KY Jelly, absolutely made me laugh. <laughs> but um, let's talk about the music first, because I feel like uh, visually there was more going on than musically. So musically, I, it was pretty simple. I I know I've heard that chorus from somewhere. I don't know if they're making fun of a different song. I know it's from the 80s, I want to say. But I just, I, I can't place my finger on it. Uh, it was nice. It had a nice beat. Uh, I like the deadpan delivery of the, uh, of like almost spoken word of the vocals. And then when you get into the chorus, they had the extreme uh, effect on the, the vocal work, which uh, was pretty nice. Pretty simple as far as drums were concerned. I, uh... I couldn't tell what part was the uh, synth and what part was the guitar, so that was nice. Keeping me kind of guessing, trying to pick out which was what. Uh, kept me engaged as a listener. But uh, let's get into the visuals here, because like I said, I think this was more of a visually appealing. There's so much going on, so much to be said. First and foremost, surrealism, uh, surrealism to the max. The the blurring of the lines between being alive and dead, what's gross and what's sexy. I, I felt like almost maybe if you were to dig a little deeper on the surface layer, everything's sexy, but you get to the core of somebody and they're just dead inside. 
and then uh, the guy in the front, obviously he's selling sex, sex, sex uh, with the women, and they're scantily clad, like, come in, let me seduce you. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Where's my money? I want my money. I don't care about anything else. I want my money. I want my money. And then when the the narrator, uh, the guy in the hat with the black hair, he dropped the money at his feet, like, grovel for it, take it, because that's what kind of person you are. And then at the end, he had the horns on. I didn't notice if he had the horns on in the beginning. But, uh, again, uh, with uh, the devil being like a prankster like that and seducing humans to do that. But it also re re reminded me of, uh, what is it? Uh, Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas. Yes, where they have all these strange things going on in the background and people morphing into dead bodies and... Just, you know, being on a, a drug bender like that, I can definitely see that happening here. And it, the story was 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 interesting. I, I liked the way it was presented. It worked with the music very well, in my personal opinion. Uh, like I said, uh, head and shoulders above the first one I reacted to. So I, I really enjoyed this track. Uh, I would say more visually than music just because it was just a, it was a pretty simple track I thought uh, nothing too like out there or you know extraordinary but uh, given the context of the music video I think it fit perfectly so that being said the hardest part for me was deciding what kind of score I was going to give this because musically I would say it is like a 3.5, but because of the visuals, because of the story and the surrealism, and maybe this is just my own proclivity to digging deeper into things about, you know, on the surface, it being superficially beautiful, but inside you're, you're rotten, you're dead, etc., uh, etc. Et um, for me, the visually would be 4.5, so taking the average of those two, you get four skulls out of five. Kind of, kind of uh, convoluted to get there, but uh, it makes sense for me on the fly. So, four skulls out of five. Absolutely happy with that score for all the reasons I just stated. But I think that's going to be it for this episode of reviews and reactions. As always, if you like what you saw, like, subscribe, comment, share the video, hit that notification bell so you don't miss any more of my reaction videos. Friday Night Frights. Mouthing off with Mike Macabre, or whatever else I'm doing on this channel. But as always, ghouls and ghosts, stay scared.